Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Braxton, also known as the best shooter on TikTok. But you know what? We're not on TikToks. So not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about it. We're just going to do this YouTube thing. I'm coming over. I'm coming over to YouTube platform. <laughs> Focus. All right. All right, guys. Today, we're doing our first ever q and A. I asked y'all today on my Instagram to give me some questions to answer in a video. So... So, so, so I'm going to answer them right now. So uh, I have them opened up and let's get into it. So the first question, ooh, should I say the username? I don't know. I haven't done this before. Do I say the username? I think I'm going to say the username. Let's say the username. Okay. We got Chad Robertson, 14. Can you come to Oklahoma and who? Well, Chad... Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if I have the clout just to go wherever I want to go yet You know what I mean, but if we get this YouTube thing rolling we start making some money right doing everything like that I would love to go hoop everywhere and anywhere. I would love to meet all of you guys and Hoop with all of you guys for real. So like Yeah, if y'all want me to go to Oklahoma Keep showing me love like y'all have and eventually one day it'll happen. I'll go anywhere that you know I can <laughs> I wonder if they have good hoopers in Oklahoma. Is there good hoopers in Oklahoma? I don't know. I've never been there. All right. Second question. Jordan underscore Kalen asked me 1v1. That's all he said. He just said 1v1. Oh, 1v1 videos. He wants some more 1v1 videos. Yes. I do want to start posting more 1v1 videos. So let me know down in the comments what Instagram influencer. Oh my gosh. I'm not an Instagram, I'm a, I'm a tic, oh my gosh, I want to be a YouTube influencer, but I'm a TikTok. So let me know down in the description what TikTok influencer you would like to see me play one-on-one -on -one or what YouTube influencer, I guess any, any basketball influencer you want to see me play one-on-one. -on -one. And we'll see if we make it happen. <laughs> Question number three coming at you. This is cynical. Um, he said... Would you 1v1 basketball players if they didn't have clout? I want to play you. I mean, I've 1v1'd a lot of people in my life, and honestly, I've 1v1 more people that don't have clout than people that had clout. So, yes, I would 1v1. Um, Anyone. I mean, honestly, I say it all the time. I tell you all the time. If y'all see me in public, if y'all see me at the gym, come talk to me. And if I'm not busy, if I'm not training, if I'm not doing anything, like, we can play. Oh, my light went out. I'm gonna go turn it on. But to answer your question, Cynical, yes, I would play Listen someone. Connection. Bluetooth connection. <laughs> but yes, to answer your question, I would play someone one-on-one -on -one, even if they didn't have clout. Next question is actually from my boy Mecca. Shout out to the homie Mecca. Everybody go follow him if y'all don't. That's the boy right there. But he said, what has TikTok done for you? And what, wait. And what's the life of an influencer like ups and downs? That's a good question. That's coming from another influencer, so he understands, I guess, what to say. But what has TikTok done for me? TikTok, TikTok has opened a ton of doors. Like, um, I mean, I'm working 100% for myself. I'm not employed anywhere. I work for myself. Um, you know, I get to make videos, my face is seen, like people come up to me and, you know, tell me that my videos make an impact in their life, and that's kind of crazy. I remember the first tournament, it was like when TikTok really started blowing up for me, and I did that three on three tournament, y'all probably seen it on my page, and it like, like, I took so many photos with people, and I've never done that before. Like, so many people want to take a photo with me, hey, I follow you on TikTok, I think you're amazing, like, I love what you do, like, you're inspiring. And like, I don't know, it, it, it's really changed my life and it's really shown me like how big, like something like this is. Like this is huge, you know? And you don't really think it, think of it like that, but I mean, it really is. And it's a blessing because it's like so many other people are worthy to have what, you know, God's blessed me with. And it's like, it's a blessing every time. And then ups and downs. Downs, I feel a lot of pressure now in my life. Um, and I know that's partially me trying to control everything and not just giving it to God. And I'm kind of putting that pressure on myself because I'm a perfectionist and I want to do good and I want to be funny and I want to have great content. But, you know, like, and I want to be a Christian. I like, I want to be an influencer. I want to be a Christian. I want to share with y'all my faith. But, you know, 
I want to have fun too. You know, I'm, I'm 21, 22. Wow. Yeah, 22. So, but yeah, ups and downs, a lot of pressure. Um, but two, I mean, it's just, it's cool. It's cool to say that you're an influencer. Like, that's sweet. Okay, we got Quentin. He said, what is your favorite basketball move to use in a game? That's question number four, by the way. Question number four. I didn't say that before. Frick, I messed up. Sorry. Um, yeah, Quentin, what's my favorite basketball move to use in a game? Um, shoot. I like to use a drop pivot. It's kind of like where you slide to the side, hezzy, and then you kind of drop that foot back and then go. Well, here's a clip right here. That's drop pivot. I also like to use like a, uh, like a pull. Like you exchange the ball one way and then you pull your body another way. There's a clip right there. And then the Allen Iverson killer cross. You already know that, but there's a clip right there. So those are like my, uh, my go-tos. This question is from David. This is question number five. He asked me, if you were to have any car in the world, what car would it be? Frick. I don't even know. Like I've thought about this so many times. Like the like a Tesla is kind of like the the cool car right now. Like I feel like everyone like my age that's like getting money and all that influencers are all driving Teslas. I would get a Tesla, but if I could get any car in the world, I don't think I'd get a Tesla. I don't even know which. I think I'd get a Ferrari to be honest. I don't know what Ferrari I would get, but I think if I could have any car in the world, I would get like a dope Ferrari. I've always liked Ferraris. I think they look sweet, so uh, I think a Ferrari is the move. All right, this is question number six. This is my second to last question. I got it from Nathan. Nathan asked, do you have any tips for people that are trying to stay close to God? That's a good question, Nathan. I got you. I think the best way to stay close to God, I think something that is always have someone pouring into you and always be pouring into someone else, meaning Right. If I am a leader or if I'm a person, right, and someone looks to me for advice, like spiritual advice and spiritual wisdom, I have to always be on my A game. Right. Because I can't be messing up. I can't be doing things behind the scenes and that like lead that person. Otherwise, I'm going to lead them way off track right but the only way that you can really do that is if you have someone else pouring into you so find someone that can mentor you that is you know doing what they need to be doing right and then they can mentor you and then they're pouring into you teaching you and then you're doing what you need to be doing in your life and then you're pouring into someone else so just having that accountability of always having someone that you looks up to you and that you have to pour into that's kind of like even with like you know social media for me like, you know, I still go through struggles and everything, but, you know, my main thing is when I ever want to do something that I shouldn't do, I think about my influence. I think about people watching me. I think about, you know, like, what what persona, what am I putting off? And sometimes I mess up, and I miss the mark. I'm human. You know, I've posted some things. I'm like, ah, I probably shouldn't have posted that. I've done some things. I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. But having that accountability of knowing someone's watching you is, like, is awesome. Like it really is. It really, it really does help you stay on track. So accountability, that's the word. Accountability. Have accountability. Question number nine, I think. Question number nine. Um, my boy Peyton asked me. He said shooting drills on how to be a better shooter and more efficient. Bro, I got you. Yo, shameless plug. Shooting course coming out soon. I will be posting TikToks about it like crazy once it out. Once it's out, I already filmed it. I already have everything prepared. It's just got to be put together and put together in a course, and then we can put it out so you guys can buy the shooting course, and we can all be the best shooter on TikTok. But it's me teaching the drills. It's me demonstrating the drills. You're gonna see my face all over. And these are things that I've actually done, and things that I've done with NBA players to help them be better shooters. So this is the shooting drill that you need to be an elite shooter. So coming out soon, I will be making videos about it once it comes out. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching. That was my first ever Q&A video. If y'all liked it, man, drop a like. Drop a like. If you don't sub, subscribe, because I'm gonna try to post like twice a week. 
I can't promise that, but I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try. Um, I really wanna start getting onto YouTube. I'm gonna start doing like full court runs, five on fives, three on three, one v ones. And I'm gonna start posting them all on my YouTube instead of only posting on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm coming over to this platform. So everyone join the ride. I'm gonna be vlogging too, doing sit down videos like this, talking to you guys, getting y'all to know y'all better and everything like that. So if y'all like the video, please just show some love, comment on it, tell me what y'all like, tell me what I could do better, tell me what y'all wanna see in the next video. Subscribe, and then yeah, follow or whatever. Um, go check me out on all my other socials. And yeah, y'all have a blessed one. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you made it this far, you are truly a king and queen, but y'all have a blessed one. Peace.